Okay. So today we learn about combustion and flame. What do you understand by the term combustion? Do you all, uh, have you all heard about it before? Yes. Uh, yes, I have. Yes. What? What do you mean by that? Com what is combustion related to? Or do you all know anything about it? It's the process of burning. Yes, it's a process of burning. Very good. Okay. So today we'll be learning about uh, combustion and flame. You all must be knowing what is flame, right? What is what is flame? When we talk about flame, what are we talking about? Fire. Fire. So the flame, uh, which is visible, okay? When something is burning, we can see the part of the fire which is visible. That is called the flame. All right. So in this chapter, we are going to learn about these two things, combustion and flame. Okay. We can move on to the next slide. Okay. So when I tell you to light, when I tell you to light fire, what will you do? You you can strike a matchstick. Okay. You will because you have access to fire okay you can uh, immediately strike a matchstick and light the fire if you want to light a bigger fire then you will light a candle or even bigger fire then you can also burn pieces of wood and light a fire okay nowadays with the help of fire we are cooking but uh, inductions are also used induction uh, inductions are also used like uh, do we need fire in the induction food? I'm sorry. How do we cook fire? Fire? No. No, we don't need fire. Then how do we cook food in the induction? Electricity. With electricity. Yes. So we use electricity. Okay. But previously, like till now, also we uh, have the LPG cylinders and we cook food on fire okay but think about the early men okay think about them uh, they they did not know about fire at that time fire was not discovered okay so what they used to do they used to uh, hunt animals and they used to gather food they used to eat fruits and the roots and all these things okay so everything was raw whatever they ate they ate it raw they did not cook food because they had no access to fire they did not know what is fire okay at the like um, after the day when the day is over and uh, there is complete darkness they did they could not do anything like we we can also work till 9 10 o'clock okay we can do all our household work we can do many things because we have access to light we we have the light okay with the help of electricity uh, like we uh, we can see things all right but since they had no access to fire they could not do anything their work came to a stop okay after when uh, dark, when there was darkness so uh, do you all know how fire was discovered then thousands of years before fire was discovered but how it was discovered do you all know about it no okay so early men what they did they rubbed two stones together okay they rubbed they continuously rubbed two stones together and then what happened due to the friction between the two stones fire was developed fire was discovered and it was an accidental discovery okay it was not intentional it was accidental so after that people came to know that or the, these early men, they could light up something. With the help of that fire, they could light up wood, they could light up um, straw or twigs, okay? And they could make a fire. And that fire changed everything for them, okay? Because of fire, they were able to cook food. 
because of fire they were able to scare away the wild animals they were able to light up the caves so the discovery of fire like it brought a change to their lives all right and because of their discovery today we are able to cook food on fire today uh, we are able to like we are able to uh, light a candle or light a matchstick all because of them because of the discovery of fire at that time okay all right we can move on to the next slide okay now after the discovery of fire the next important thing that was discovered was the light bulb okay with the help of the light bulb or with the uh, the light bulb works on electricity okay and sir thomas alva edison he invented the light bulb in the year 1879 and because of the light bulb we are able to like do everything at night okay like we we can do all our household work we can do anything because of the light if there was no electricity there was no light uh, we would not have been able to do whatever we are doing today okay and what about the early men they also used they also used fire in the form of light they used it to scare away the animals they used it to light up the caves they lived in caves and they lighted the entire cave with the help of the fire okay so this was how fire was discovered and after that light bulb also played a very important role uh, in electric like light bulb also worked on electricity so that also played a very important uh, role for us to do everything okay uh, whatever we do nowadays it's because of um, these inventions okay we move on to the next slide okay now we come to the topic that is what is combustion now we can say that combustion is a chemical process okay it's not a physical process it's a chemical process and in combustion there is something which is reacting with oxygen and is forming heat and light heat is definitely produced light may or may not be produced again i'm repeating combustion is a chemical reaction okay it's a chemical reaction between oxygen and a substance so when the substance reacts with oxygen if it produces heat and light both or only heat that type of a process is called as combustion okay now on the basis of combustion we can divide the substances into two types one is combustible substances and some substances substances are non combustible so combustible substances are those substances that can burn okay it can burn in air to produce heat and light and the non combustible substances are the substances that cannot burn they don't burn and they cannot produce heat and light simple see uh, look at the pictures of combustible substances we can say coal is a combustible substance because it can burn it gives us heat and a little amount of light okay what about the candle candle when the candle reacts with oxygen it it can give us heat as well as light okay so it uh, gives heat as well as light take a look at uh, wood when wood burns okay when wood burns then wood also reacts with oxygen and it gives us heat as well as light think about petrol petrol does not give us light but it gives us heat okay and because of that heat we are able to drive the vehicles kerosene okay that also gives us heat as well as light what about lpg it gives us heat and light both all right so these are all chemical processes that is happening when a substance reacts with oxygen it produces heat and light or only heat so these kinds of substances are called combustible substances and combustible substances are also called fuels okay we can say 
coal, candle, wood, petrol, diesel, kerosene, uh, we can say LPG, CNG, all have different kinds of fuels. And fuel can be a solid, a liquid, or a gas. It's not only a solid or a liquid or a gas. They can be in any form. They can be either solids or liquids or gases. All right? Like we can say coal, candle, and the wood. They are solids. Petrol and crescent oil. They are liquids. LPG or CNG. They are gases. Okay? So these are the different kinds of combustible substances. Now, we can take a look at non-combustible substances. Now, what are non-combustible substances? It is just the reverse. They cannot burn. They cannot burn to produce heat or light. Okay? You uh, take the example of stone, iron nail, sand, soil, water. Okay? So, they can't burn. Bricks, cement. Okay? They can't burn. And they cannot produce heat or light. So, these kinds of substances are called non-combustible substances is that clear to everyone what are combustible and non-combustible substances yes ma'am or uh, do you have any doubt in these two terms no okay so we move on to the next slide okay now what are the factors that are needed for combustion? Okay. There are three very, very important factors that are needed. Even if one is missing, combustion cannot happen. Any one, if any one is missing, combustion cannot happen. Okay. Let's talk about the fuel. Now think about coal, burning of coal. If there is no coal, can combustion happen? There is no coal. Can combustion take place? Now, coal is called a fuel, okay? The substance that is burning is the fuel. Now, if there is no fuel, can combustion take place? You'll tell me. Think about the burning of coal. Coal is missing. Can combustion take place? No. No. If you think about petrol, diesel. Now, petrol and diesel is only not there. What is going to burn? What is, what is going to undergo combustion? Okay, there is nothing. Okay, so fuel is very, very important for combustion. If fuel is not there, combustion cannot happen. Now, oxygen. Oxygen is also very important for combustion. Without oxygen, combustion cannot take place. Okay, where there is no oxygen, burning cannot happen. So, oxygen is very much required for burning or for combustion and heat <clears throat> for example there is a coal and there's an oxygen okay but we don't light the coal can uh, can combustion happen will coal automatically react with oxygen and start burning will it happen like that no no so heat is required you have to light it you have to you have to produce heat okay so that the coal burns the coal cannot automatically react with oxygen and start burning. Okay, petrol cannot automatically react with oxygen and start burning. It has to get some heat. It has some heat has to be provided for it to start burning. Okay, so any of these three factors, if any of these three factors are missing, combustion cannot take place. All right, so these three things are very, very important for combustion. That is the fuel oxygen and heat is that clear to everybody yeah okay all right so we now uh, we can now move on to the experiments okay so uh, all of y'all can put your videos on and show me the supplies that y'all are having you all need a candle. Ma'am, can we see the things that are needed from the slides?
the experiment uh, can we see the first um, first slide of the experiment yeah so you'll need candle matchbox matchstick okay the straw from a broom paper stone glass cardboard do you all have all these things with you all okay ma'am we can move on we can see their videos uh ma'am yes i could not get the supplies uh this for this class is that okay i can watch uh don't you have a candle matchbox and all these things ma'am i'll have to gather uh, all the things and it will take a lot of time so i won't be able to do the experiment okay i'll do them at home like okay uh, you all don't do anything at home because I'm i we we know you all don't do anything at home okay anyways you can watch it but the, these are these are supplies that you can easily get at your home okay anyways see all of you can put your videos on so what you'll have to do is you'll have to burn these things and you'll have to tell me which is combustible and which is not okay let me see you have to burn the candle first all of you all light the uh, light the candle okay so first you all first take a look what i'm doing then you all will uh, we'll see what uh, which substances are combustible and not so this is a paper okay so is paper combustible or not tell me ma'am it is it is combustible okay all right okay now i'm taking the iron nail and i'm heating it is the iron nail combustible does it catch fire it's non combustible yeah it's non combustible okay all right now we can test with stone is it combustible the stone no no so stone is also not combustible okay now this is the straw from the broom is it combustible uh yes it is okay so this is combustible okay all right so you all can also try and tell me what which things are combustible and which are not okay we'll see each one of you all okay 
first we uh, we can see jangi can you adjust your camera so that we can see i'm probably going to need something to hold the okay uh, do you have tongs in the kitchen probably i'll just see yeah just go get it okay is shri ram ready by that time shri ram are you ready yes ma'am okay can you show us yeah what are you eating ma'am the nail okay ma'am it's becoming black okay but did it catch fire no ma'am no so what is it it is non combustible okay all right what are the other things that you have ma'am i have a straw and ma'am the paper also ma'am okay so you can and you can light them up be careful and but light it up Yes, ma'am. Will I light the paper, ma'am? Okay. Have you lighted the paper? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, uh, did the paper burn? Yes, ma'am. All right. So, the paper is combustible or non-combustible? Yes, ma'am. It's combustible. It's combustible. And what else? You had the straw, right? Yes, ma'am. Did you light it up? No, no, ma'am. Okay. Uh, can you light it up and show? Okay, ma'am. Hold it with the tongs. Okay, ma'am. Did it burn? Yes, ma'am. All right. Now we can move on to Janvi. Janvi, have you have you brought the tongs from the kitchen? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, you took the iron nail. Is it combustible or not? It's not combustible. Okay. okay. All right. So the iron nail is non-combustible. then that's all i have okay you only have the iron nail you don't have paper you don't have stone no, i don't have paper or stone a straw i have a plastic straw okay should i use it all right yeah Okay. You are asked to bring two straws. One is straw from the broom and the plastic straw. I only have the plastic straw. Yeah. Oh. It melted. It melted. So it it won't come under combustible substance. Okay, because it melts. It does not heat and produce a lot of. Uh, it does not burn and produce heat and light. Okay, so it is also non-combustible. Okay, Sakshi, have you collected the supplies for today? I do have a um a broomstick, like the straw from the broom. I have okay. a stone and a paper. Okay, can you put your video on and show us which is combustible and not combustible? Yeah. Yeah. Okay.
Sakshi, can you put your video on? Okay. All right. So you're taking the paper. Use the tongue, Sakshi. And put your hair behind. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, we can see you. Can you uh, burn the paper and tell us whether it is combustible or non combustible? Okay. Okay. So, uh, y'all can uh, y'all can classify, right? Combustible as well as non-combustible substances. So, the substances yes. that are catching fire are combustible and those that don't catch fire, they are non-combustible. We can move on to the next activity now. Okay, for this activity, you'll be needing a glass tumbler, candle. These two things, if you have, you can perform this activity, okay? A glass tumbler and candle. So this activity is to show that air is required for burning. Air is important or we can say oxygen is important for burning. Okay. So you have to light the... candle you have to use a glass tumbler now the candle is burning now if i can you see completely okay once more i'm showing you i will block the passage of oxygen okay So the candle is burning, okay? Now, I will just cover a little portion of the candle with the beaker. Can you see the flame? And it has completely gone off. I have, okay? Because the oxygen supply is cut off. That is why the candle stops burning. Is that clear? When the oxygen, when oxygen is not there, when oxygen supply is cut off, then the candle stops burning. So y'all can also show. Yeah. Do you have a candle and a glass tumbler? I think I have it, yes.
sorry. So who will begin? Who is ready? Okay, Janvi, come on, start. Just a second, I light the candle. Can you adjust the camera a little bit, Janvi, so that we can see the candle? Yeah, I just light it. Yeah. Okay, I have fine. a candle which is like this. It's a candle in a bowl. So you can take a glass tumbler which is bigger than that? I don't have a glass tumbler bigger than that. Okay. All right. Then uh, see I if you can cover up that. See, so put it. Yeah. Is it blocking? Yeah, it will do. Okay. It will take place. Okay. So did it go off? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. That is because the supply of oxygen was cut off and therefore the candle stopped burning. Sakshi, can you show us? I actually don't have um, material, like all of the materials. Or do you have a candle? Yeah, I just have a candle. And a glass tumbler? No, no. All right, Shira. Yes, ma'am. Uh, do you have a candle, glass tumbler? No, ma'am. I don't have a glass tumbler big enough for my candle. Okay. All right. Okay. So then, I think we can move on with the. We can move on to the next experiment. <clears throat> okay, just give me a second. I'll just be back. Okay. Why everyone is not doing the activity? Why is Mishreya not doing the activity today? 
ma'am i told that uh, told nikola ma'am that i i could not gather the materials for today um nishraj it is all very simple right you all you need is just a candle match bo- matchbox and a glass uh, yes ma'am so will you be able to gather it now at least the uh, not the first experiment but the second and the third at least you can do it okay ma'am i'll try yeah so if you don't have a candle you can use a small diya also like shriram has a very big candle and that candle he won't have a uh, uh, he won't have a glass of that size so either you cut your candle short shriram or you have uh, take a diya all that matters is the fire okay so take a diya for diya you can have any glass tumbler which you can invert on top of it what about you sakshi sakshi the second experiment mama i don't have all the items what what items you don't have you had the candle right yeah. all you need is a glass what else do you need you don't have a glass at home i do okay i'll ask my mom yeah go and get the supplies otherwise how will you do the activity all of you all quickly take 2 minutes gather all the supplies see uh, what is required for the third activity also you need a glass you need a candle match box and just get a small plate from your kitchen get water and instead of color you can use turmeric powder any colored water okay these are all such simple supplies they can be i mean they will be easily available at home come on quickly take 2 minutes and get the supplies all of you Are you all ready? <laughs> Turn your videos on. All of you all turn your videos on.
adjust your camera such that we can see your tables, work, workstations. Yeah, come on. Uh, can you turn your camera, Nishreya? Mom, like, uh... Because you see, I'll show how your video is appearing. Okay, first take a look at what I'm doing. Then you can uh, perform the experiment. Uh, Nikolama, Nishreya is doing the previous experiment. Okay. 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 Very good. Shriram, are you ready with your supplies? Okay, turn on your camera. Sakshi and Sriram, I want you all to show the second experiment. I have supplies for the third experiment. No, second and the third. Third, you need extra colored water. For the second one, it's just the candle and the glass. So I you can do it with the same. I don't have a big glass, ma'am, for my candle. It's big. Yeah, but then that's what I said. Either you can cut your candle or you can take a dia, a small dia for which you will have a glass. Mom, can I send you the photo after the experiment? No, Sakshi, I want you to do it now. No, I'll do it now, but I'll send you a photo because I'm on a computer. So you won't be able to show it? Yeah. Okay. All right, so we'll do the third experiment. Observe what Nicola Mam is doing, and then each one of you will uh, carry it out separately, and we want to see it. Yeah. So you can see colored water in this Petri dish. Okay. Now I'll light the candle. Okay. So now what you all will have to do, you all will have to put this glass over the candle, okay? So you all can see that the flame is put off. And then take a look at the glass tumbler, okay? Can you all see the level of water in the glass tumbler? Yes. After some time, you all will see that the level of water in the glass tumbler rises up. Can you all okay. see it? Okay. Everyone? Why do you, uh, children, You, I want you all to answer. Why do you think uh, the level of water is rising in the glass tumbler? So a part of this experiment is same as the previous one, that oxy oxygen is essential for combustion. Okay, But the second part is water is rising inside the glass. Why? Water is rising inside the glass. Why? So if we, if we consider the glass as 100% air, in the glass okay the flame of the candle will re will glow as long as the oxygen in that glass is consumed how much percentage of air is oxygen what percentage of air is oxygen unmute yourself janvi So 
it's it's about 21% 21% oxygen okay so because the 21% oxygen from that full glass of air is consumed by the flame there is a 21% vacant place created inside the glass so the liquid rises up to take up that empty place is that clear to all of you okay all right come on all of you all show your experiments now mom have sent you the picture you sent me the picture okay yes sakshi so there is water in that tray right so you can see that the water has come up inside the glass very good okay can we see that shriram janvi and nishreya ma'am i have a candle which is like this so you can't really cover it um okay and you don't have a bigger glass is it no okay all right um shriram yes ma'am are you ready with the supplies can you do the experiment yes ma'am i'll just oh my god okay one second i'll just turn off your screen uh did did the uh did the glass touch the flame yes ma'am that's why it went off can you cut the candle little more okay ma'am yeah and then we will try it again nishraya are you ready yes ma'am come on put your video on okay take the candle towards you little bit yeah yes your video is turned off nishre oh yes ma'am just a minute the water is too low to rise up has it gone up even little bit uh, yes ma'am it went to bit okay you should take water in a bowl like how shriram had done put the candle so that you can see the water level change you can visibly notice it Okay. All right, Shri Ram, are you ready? No, ma'am. Actually, I'm still cutting the candle. Okay. It's cutting. That's why.
Janvi, with your candle also, I think you'll be able to do it. Instead of using an inverted glass, you can use a glass bowl to cover your candle. Okay. You can try it after the class. Take uh, take a plate, you know, plate with little bit of, uh, you know, height, not the flat one, little bit of height. Put uh, colored water in that, put your candle and cover it with an inverted bowl. So you'll see the water rising up in the inverted glass bowl. Okay. Okay. Shriram, ready? No, I'm not yet. Not yet. Okay, so till Shriram is ready, uh, Nicola, ma'am, can ask you all whatever is the question for the day. Okay. Um, so you all will need to answer to, uh, like, I'll be asking you all uh, one question today. What are the applications of combustion on a large scale? Okay, you all have to give that answer in the next class. What are the applications of combustion on a large scale? How do we use, like, why do we need to study about combustion? What, what we gain by studying about it, okay? So you all need to tell me what are the applications of combustion? How is it used on a large scale? Okay, did you all get the question? Yes, ma'am. Okay. We are just waiting for Shriram to be ready. <clears throat> so I'm ready, ma'am. I have to light the candle. Yes. Can you put your video on, Shriram? See, y'all are just four of y'all. Y'all can keep your videos on throughout the time. No worries. You can reduce the water if it is not standing. Now my candle is going off. Shira, you can reduce the water. Reduce the water. That's because the candle got completely immersed into water, no? Okay, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Mom, it's not letting up, mom. The wick would have completely got wet. Yes, mom, it got wet. Yeah. So you do this and you send it to us on the group. Okay, ma'am. You do this activity, record the video and send it to us. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. All right. Uh, have, have all of you noted down the question that ma'am has given? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. All right. We'll see you on the next.